डबल ऑफ वन इज टू डबल ऑफ टू इज फोर डबल ऑफ फोर इज एट डबल ऑफ एट इज सिक्सटीन डबल ऑफ सिक्सटीन इज थर्टी टू डबल ऑफ थर्टी टू इज सिक्सटी फोर डबल ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर इज वन ट्वेंटी एट डबल ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी एट इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स डबल ऑफ टू फिफ्टी सिक्स इज फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व डबल ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व इज वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर डबल ऑफ वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इज टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी एट डबल ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी एट इज फोर थाउजेंड नाइन सिक्स डबल ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड नाइन सिक्स इज एट थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड नाइन टू डबल ऑफ एट थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड नाइन टू इज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एट्टी फोर डबल ऑफ सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एट्टी फोर इज थर्टी टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट डबल ऑफ थर्टी टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट इज सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड थर्टी सिक्स डबल ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड थर्टी सिक्स इज वन हंड्रेड थर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवेंटी टू डबल ऑफ वन हंड्रेड थर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवेंटी टू इज टू सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर डबल ऑफ टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर इज फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एटी एट डबल ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एटी एट इज वन मिलियन फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सिक्स डबल ऑफ वन मिलियन फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सिक्स इज टू मिलियन नाइन्टी सेवन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू डबल ऑफ टू मिलियन नाइन्टी सेवन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू इज फोर मिलियन वन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फोर थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर डबल ऑफ फोर मिलियन वन वन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फोर थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर इज फोर एट मिलियन थ्री हंड्रेड एट्टी एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एट सैन माई डियर वेरी वेरी इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फास्ट मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड वी वुड स्टार्ट विद द पैटर्न our most favorite subject i know that lot of kids are only interested in the techniques and not in the concepts but concepts come out of the pattern because how do you think about a concept when you see first time uh you can say a pattern or a behavior of certain um, phenomena so here we are talking about multiplication we'll see how it works and you will find a technique out of the pattern which we'll discuss in lesson 2 but lesson 1 is just showing you how pattern works so in our hindi version we sh we have shown the table of 7 here we will use the table of 8 so let me write a table of 8 so you can see 8 multiplied by 1 8 okay i'm just writing the answers here to be little faster to save your time so i have written the answer we'll just go till 6 as we just want to understand the pattern so you can see i have written the table of 8 now the pattern is okay same way we can go 8 multiplied by 7 8 9 10 like this you already know it's very simple now uh, let me make a space here by erasing this and i can write pattern here so now if i want to know what is 8 multiplied by 11 let's see the number or let's see the answers and you will find the pattern by yourself 8 multiplied by 12 i hope you are seeing the similarities and please have a look and try to find out and if you have known this please write it in the comment box i am sure you would be able to understand as it is very very evident very visible so tell me have you understood the pattern if you see the digit once digit is same 8 8 6 6 4 4 2 2 0 0 8 8 so all the ones digit are same now what is the difference between these two actually difference is 80 difference between these two again 80 96 minus 16 80 or you can simply do 9 tens minus 1 ten is 8 tens 80 10 tens minus 2 tens 80 then 11 tens minus 3 tens 80 12 tens minus 4 tens 80 12 tens minus 4 tens 80 so everywhere there is a difference of 18 so if i know the answer of 8 multiplied by 1 i know 8 multiplied by 11 i have to simply add 80 in this table and i know this table and most of the kids in grade 3 or maybe even grade 2 they know this table so if you ask a grade 2 or grade 3 student after showing this pattern tell me kid what is 8 multiplied by 11 i'm sure he'll be able to answer if you ask what will be 8 multiplied by 15 he can answer those big questions although it has not been taught in the school but he has understood the pattern the way you have understood the patterns of people in your uh, friendship circle people in your family you know how my friend is going to behave so now you know how this table will behave you have understood the pattern 
let's go to now 8 multiplied by 21 I'll show you pattern here also 8 multiplied by 22 and you will see again once digit is same everywhere and if you can know the difference in the number if you see 8 multiplied by 1 and 8 multiplied by 21 please write it in the comment box that you have understood it and of course the ones digit will remain same so you can see ones digit is same only there is some addition of the numbers and tell me what is that number if you have not understood then I will definitely tell you so again see 8 8 6 6 4 4 2 2 0 0 8 8 but there is a difference of 160 between these two numbers and a difference of 80 between these two numbers because basically what we are doing when we are doing 8 multiplied by 21 actually it is 8 multiplied by 20 plus 8 multiplied by 1 which we are going to see in lesson 1 and that is our first technique to do the fast multiplication of course there is another technique called crisscross multiplication but that works only on this technique this is the concept that is just a way around uh, you know to write it in a fast way but how it works it works because of this pattern or the, because of this technique you can say what we are doing is we are breaking the numbers uh, that we will learn in lesson 2 but here you can just see the beauty of pattern what we are doing is just we are adding 160 difference between 8 and 168 160 difference between 60 176 160 difference between 24 and 184 160 so everywhere the difference would be 160 and that's how I can calculate everything from 8 multiplied by 21 even if I want to know 8 multiplied by let's say um, let's say 99 so I know 8 multiplied by 9 8 multiplied by 9 is 72 right so I know 72 now I have to add one number in that which number I will add okay so because okay I have not written here but you know that 8 multiplied by 9 is 72 now another number is 8 multiplied by 90 either you can say or you can just know the pattern so here the difference is 80 then 160 similarly next will be 240 uh, if you want to know the 3 table if you go to 90 table the difference would be 720 so here it would be actually 720 plus 72 you got the answer answer is 792 and you can check it how you got it by understanding the patterns so try to see patterns in the multiplication table and before we close this lesson and move on to our technique lesson where we will learn you know how to break the numbers into two and make it easy I would like to ask you have you ever thought why multiplication is required and why should we do it have you asked your teacher if you don't have the answer multiplication is there to make our life easy for example I want to distribute five chocolates to each kid in my school and I have 30 kids so are we going to add 5 30 times 5 plus 5, 5 plus 5 like this 30 times the life would become hell so I want to make it easy that's why somebody invented multiplication and because he knew the behavior of the numbers he knew the pattern of the numbers and somehow it was very easy for him to do 5 multiplied by 30 which is 150 you got your answer by doing the multiplication now tell me if you are going from MP to Kashmir you know that my car speed is let's say 90 km per hour and uh, in 10 hour how much distance I will travel so 90 multiplied by 10 you got your answer 900 or maybe 9 hour 90 multiplied by 9 you got your answer let's say 810 kilometers so how you got it by doing the multiplication if there was no multiplication you would have added these number 90 plus 90 plus 99 times your life would have been more uh, you can say slower your life would have been more difficult so multiplication was invented to make your calculations more easy and there we will use these patterns or these techniques we will use the ease of doing multiplication whenever number is ending with zero or hundred I mean like tens or hundreds any number ending with zero how it is so that's what we are going to learn in lesson two another thing have you thought about it because I all also discuss this thing with my students for example when your father or you know your mother is driving a car uh, let's say they want to calculate approximately how many hours I will take to reach to Kashmir when they are traveling MP to Kashmir are they going to take out the paper and pen or calculator in mobile and calculate it no of course right they do it here and that's what most of the people do if you want to if you go to the shop 
maybe you know you ask him okay what is the price for that if you have a barcode maybe you know during the billing of course he would do each barcode but you are just asking the estimate is he going to take a paper and pen and calculate everything only they will do the billing when you are you know paying finally and that would also be in the computer but they are not going to take out paper and pen they the shopkeeper may be doing it mentally or with the help of computer but you are doing calculation without paper and pen so in real life application fortunately or unfortunately most of the calculations are done in a computer either your computer or the physical computer which is bought by you so what do you think mental math is more important or doing the calculations on the paper unfortunately our school uh, teaches us a lot on calculations on paper but they miss the mental math calculation but in real life you need mental math and it's not about the real life once you are fast once you are sharp once you are smart it makes your even paper and pen calculation easy because you have understood the concept it's not only step by step you are not making brick 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 you have made a big block a huge block of 1000 bricks and you can put it at once you can make a huge tower huge building a huge uh, you can say a palace of numbers because you have understood the behavior but that is only possible if your brain is able to synthesize this number if it is able to visualize the numbers and how is that possible if you learn mental math so this was this lesson was only to show you the pattern how these are connected so how if you know it multiplied by 1 i can know it multiplied by 11 or 21 or 31 or 41 or 51 or even 8 multiplied by 91 or even 8 multiplied by 111 or 8 multiplied by 911 how easy it would be that's what we are going to learn in lesson 2 so before signing off please i would again request like share and subscribe the video share with your friends and relatives and if you subscribe it will you know our new videos will definitely come to you and i hope you would like that because we have started with mental math but we are going into the pool of math that is all the subjects of math till grade 8 and soon you will see how we will relate this knowledge which we are gaining in the mental math to the math and please visit our website if you want to register for our math olympiad that is mathjadugar.com all the details are below this video as well as we have the whatsapp community where we will share all our resources like videos uh, then uh, play i mean uh, practice test uh, then uh, knowledge material and a lot of more resources even we have webinar bi weekly webinar all these resources will be easily gettable to you if you join our whatsapp community so signing off for today and we'll come back with more videos and especially lesson 2 on fast multiplication technique soon i know lot of you are waiting only for technique we'll come with technique soon thank you